I loved it. I did not like the original Hobbit. This movie was completely eye opener and completely my opinion. Alright, and to get into the spirit, I have went to a minecart and built myself a Hobbit home. Isn't it luxurious? <laughs> I love it. Look at all these chickens. <laughs> YOLO! Okay, so if you couldn't guess, that's actually not the real Hobbit hole that we built. It's actually over here. If you can see it in the distance, you have some good eyesight. I'm not even wearing my glasses, I can see that. How do I have that good eyesight? <laughs> because when you have good eyesight, that means you can see things. Okay, you really gotta clear up those holes though. Like, you gotta cover them up with dirt or something, because those creepers are annoying. Yeah, but if you hear, like, echo or something, I'm using Jordan's mic, and I didn't really get any time to configure it before I started. And, uh, yeah, so here's the Hobbit hole. It's not really fully furnished in the, in the middle, but, or on the inside, but to talk about this video, we are going to stand here right next to Frederico. So Jordan, what would you give rating wise of the movie? Well, let's see here, one what's, ten. huh? One to ten. One to ten, I'd give it probably about eight to nine. I would personally give it an 837,906,000. Because, well, I am a humongous Hobbit fan, especially The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, and all Middle-earth Tolkien fantasy genre books, movies, oh my gosh, I am a complete nerd when it comes to that. Jordan, he's just the guy that watches the movies. Um, exact movies. opposite. I just have not read the books yet. I am also a complete nerd for it, except I actually originally began off by playing the video games. Yeah, he plays the Lord of the Rings video games, which I also played, which I enjoy quite frequently. We, I came over to Jordan's house tonight, and uh, uh, we got to play the Lord of the Rings Return of the King video game for the GameCube, which I haven't got to play for years and years and years, and I had so much nostalgia and fun just playing it. If you guys could ever get your hand in a copy of it, first of all, lucky you, because that thing, they don't even make that game anymore, I don't think. Second of all, it's an extremely rare game to come by. They'd probably make an HD version of it, though. Like, they'd, if I'd have to guess, they're probably gonna make one here soon. Maybe, maybe. Um. Anyway, we're getting off subject. Anyway, uh, The Hobbit Two: Desolation of Smog. Um. What can't you say about it? I mean, it was so much action packed and a lot of brand new things, like. A lot of people might be complaining that it strays far away from the book, but actually, when Tolkien wrote the book The Hobbit, and in the different appendices in the Silmarillion and the Return of the King, there are like a lot of different stories that are going on in the same time as The Hobbit, like Gandalf going to Dol Gildor, and different things with the elves and all that, which he actually added which Peter Jackson actually added to the movie, which I found an incredible genius idea, honestly. Yeah, I I like the idea too. It, I still have never read the books or anything. By the way, the mic's still moving. Okay. Slender Man's pulling our mic off again because Slender Man likes to be a dick to us. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I did, I did find it a really good idea though because, I mean, if he didn't... If it didn't stray away from the book, the movie wouldn't have been as long as it was, which I'm not going to lie, I had to take a pee the entire time. And it, was, it, 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 it hurt, but it was still worth it to watch the movie. <laughs> it was two hours and 40 minutes, I believe. So uh, was, We got in there around 12.30, didn't leave till um, 3.30. Yeah, so it was somewhere around three hours-ish. And uh, I, can't, I can honestly say I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, same. Except I did feel like the beginning started off very slow, kind of, but the, you once you got into it, it just got really good. And they added, like, the whole parts about Tariel being in it, which Evangeline Lilly, the actor who or actress who played Tariel, I think she did amazing. I mean, she was made up by Peter Jackson. Like, she wasn't an actual character in the books or anything, 
but I think she was an amazing actress and played a really good part. And I love how Peter Jackson added Legolas into there. As Jordan knows and anybody else who knows me, my favorite character from The Lord of the Rings has always been Legolas. And Mine is Gimli. And they made a little cameo for Gimli. It showed his child pictures, going his father. But Which Legolas dissed him made me really mad. But I actually have a smidge and a bit of respect for Legolas now because of everything that he does throughout that entire movie. Um, I'm going to throw this out here right now, and this might be to some of you who are extremely big on spoiler alerts and certain things like that. Like, it doesn't really seem like much of a spoiler to alert to you, mostly, probably, because you all probably would have guessed that it would happen in the end anyways. But those of you who don't want to know this, you can just skip ahead to the video just a little bit. Um, so I'll give you probably about a few seconds to do that while I make a pose. What are you saying? <sighs> anyway, so the ending of the movie ends up in a giant cliffhanger. Yes, 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 yes. Like, for any of you who have read the book, you know what happens to the dragon in the end, but, I, like, you thought they were going to at least have the final battle with the dragon in this, in the second movie, but no. Like, the dragon just swoops off into Lake Town, and Bilbo's like, what have we done? That is revealing a lot right there. I, I thought it was going to be a tiny little spoiler, but... <laughs> well, I didn't say what happens to the dragon, but... No. But, uh, so... Yeah, it was an amazing cliffhanger. And we have to wait another year for the There and Back Again Hobbit 3 to come out. Oh my gosh. I know, it's going to be freaking hard. And I remember exactly this around this time last year, after I, first, after I saw the first Hobbit movie, and I was sitting there thinking to myself, okay, I love Lord of the Rings. I did not like this movie. I'm probably never going to go see the second. And <laughs> proved me wrong completely. And then I start thinking about the first movie, and I'm like, okay, now it's all making sense. It's all clicking inside my brain. I, now I like the first one too. I haven't even watched the first one in over a year, and I stand. I already like it. So, you know what? It for those of you who did not like the first one, and for some reason are just watching the video, I still remind you. I want you guys to give it a try. Seriously, it, you'll you won't regret it. Also, it's, you get to meet two of. Two of my favorite characters from the Hobbit book. One is Bjorn, for those of you who want to know who he is. He's basically right at the beginning of the story, or at, of the second movie. His name is Bjorn, and he's basically this shapeshifter guy. He can change from a big muscular man to a freaking bear, and he plays a very large role in the, uh, in the end of the movie, or not the movie, but the end of the book, and I'm hoping he'll be in the next movie playing the same role. And secondly, you get to meet Bard the Bowman, for those of you who don't know, he does something extremely big at the end of the book. I won't tell you what it is, because that will basically spoil the whole entire series, but he does something extremely big, and, and in the book you really don't get to meet a lot of him, but you get to see his family in the movie, and see him more of a family man than a, just a man who's good with a bow and arrow. And now, for those of you who are out there thinking, okay, I still don't want to see this movie, I'm going to have to remind you this one little factor that kind of got me wanting to see this movie. I've loved Lord of the Rings ever since I was a little boy. And the fact that the Lord of the Rings series, I thought was going to be coming down to a complete ending, and the fact that now it's still around, and the fact that these movies are now coming out, these are probably going to be the last movies they're going to make along with this Lord of the Rings series. Unless not it, not counting, you know, if they remastered or anything, which in this case, I probably wouldn't go see it. And if I did, I'd probably be very ashamed for watching it because everyone knows remasters always suck. Unless Peter Jackson decides to make some movie about the Silmarillion, which I really wish he do hope he does. For those of you who don't know, that's basically like the history Bible of Middle Earth. It's an amazing read if you guys haven't read it yet. But um, but. I mean, really, if these are the last movies that are coming out, then these movies are going <laughs> to go down in history, just like the regular Lord of the Rings have. I know I have the movies over there on my shelf right now. I mean, these movies are just incredible. They're going to go down in history as some of the biggest ones out there. 
And I can almost guarantee you that if you go see these movies now while they're still fresh and new, you will not regret your decision at all. The only thing I did, or I didn't, I wouldn't say I didn't like about this video or movie, but the, the one thing I was kind of disappointed on was in the first movie, they, at the beginning, they had a cameo by Elijah Wood playing Frodo, kind of like as a prologue to the movie, but I wish, I wish in this one they had another pro cameo. I, I was hoping they would have Sean Astin in there, and he played Sam, because I really wanted to see Sam again, but unfortunately that didn't happen. Anyway, so that is our rating, and once again, I give Lord of the Rings does... Lord of the Rings, oh my Not dear Not the Lord God. of the Rings. It's I the say that so many times, okay. Hoven 2, The Unexpected Adventure, Desolation it, of Smog. I'm going <laughs> for the was, full out... I'm going out for the full out title here, okay? Yeah. Hobbit 2, Unexpected Adventure, Desolation of Smog. That's the full out complete title. No, actually the first movie was The Unexpected Journey, but... I know, just, but... Just... Whatever. Just say... Just give your rating. I, once again, I rate the movie about 8 to 9 out of 10. I would give it my rating of 8,967,000 or whatever that was, but more, okay? So I will thank you all for watching this, and if you have seen the movie, please tell me in the comments if you disagree or agree with us. And say what you think. Uh, please like, favorite, and subscribe to my channel. Jordan, do you have any last words? Um, check out some of my videos. Um, uh, if you enjoy some of Ryan's videos, um, Ryan is on a lot of mine. In fact, we have our own series together, so that's something to check out. Mm -hmm. So, farewell, wonderful creatures. Farewell. <laughs>